Hi and welcome to WDM, Woody's Modelling Diary, for what I'm going to term as a Woody Wow. That's a Woody's words of wisdom. Uh, when you've been in the hobby, playing trains as my wife calls it, for as long as I have, you do pick up a few tips. And uh, some of those are worth passing on. Nothing particularly new, you may have seen these elsewhere. But today we're going to look at uh, cleaning your track, obviously very important for running trains effectively without them stalling and things. So normally most people would use a track rubber. Um, this is a, a Pico track rubber, nothing against that. Generally you just use it like that <clears throat> and uh, it's not too abrasive so it doesn't roughen up the track. But the problem is with these sorts of things, it's just like cleaning a floor with a cloth. Um, you obviously wipe the dirt off the floor but if you don't rinse the cloth and you continue wiping the floor you're just putting more dirt back on and I've yet to find a way of actually cleaning these track rubbers effectively so what surprised me was when I had cleaned some track and then just out of a sort of experimental type of uh, thing I decided to use some IPA um, which is, used to be called rubbing alcohol. Um, and I think that's if you buy it from a chemist, that's, that's probably what it's called. Um, but you can get this from model railway suppliers and electronic suppliers. It's used for, obviously, as the bottle says, an ideal solvent for electronics and other delicate components. So there's quite a few suppliers out there. I just get a cotton bud and dip it in the bottle and we've cleaned that little bit and you can see there's still some dirt coming off there and that's despite having had the track rubber on these parts so that's my little tip for today get yourself some IPA don't confuse it with the beer and uh, See if uh, your track's as clean as you think it is. Anyway, hope that tip is of use. Um, see you again. Take care. Bye.